Who's ready to go camping? Me! All right. Here we go. Hello, folks. I'm Lee Pickard of Mid-State RV Center, and welcome to another edition of the RV Show. Today, we've got some great things for you. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day here in Byron. And let me tell you, one of the suggestions you sent in was you'd like to see more of the show. Well, folks, we've added 30 minutes to it. Now you get an hour of RVs, camping, and, and we've got some great things for you today. 30 years, 30 years of hard work, 30 years of helping people connect to the great outdoors and to each other. 30 years and going strong as Georgia's number one RV dealer. We're Mid-State RV in Byron. We're American family owned since 1989, and we've been serving the people of the great state of Georgia and beyond with honesty, integrity, and value for 30 years. You want to know what it takes to become Georgia's number number one RV dealer, come see for yourself right here in Byron, Georgia, Mid-State RV Center. Oh, are they still following us? <laughs> We're on the TV, man. Are we? Yeah. Is they this got for this real? action Jackson over here with the golf cart. Are they the paparazzi? <laughs> we'll try to lose them. Oh, sorry. We're sharing ah! the box. This is for you, Princess Diana. Gray Wolf? It's Cherokee. Cherokee. WK. Yeah, whoa, 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 where are you going, man? All right, so. <laughs> well, now I'm a mailman uh, or something. Me and Todd are back. Uh, I'm a mailman now. We're gonna now. show you guys Thank a 274 you. WK today. He's working on this. Don't worry, man, don't I worry. I worried. didn't fall off <laughs> I wasn't worried. Gosh. <laughs> now I know how the mail people drive. Yeah. What's Get up, you. folks? I'm Brent. I'm Todd. This is Todd. What's up, Brent? Like I said, we wanna show you guys this Cherokee 274 WK, which is a rear living type island kitchen deal. It doesn't have none of that OSB flooring like everybody else does, right? Negative Ghost Rider. All solid plywood floors. All right. Inch, tongue and groove. All right. That okay. sounds good to me. All the constructions above industry standard. I mean, this is how these boys roll. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Huh? Sounds good. Right on, man. Let's All go. Right. If you guys want to, we'll start you off right here at the front. It's got a power tongue jack. A lot better than, yeah, e doing all this e mess. E e e a lot of work. Two 20 pound bottles with a plastic cover. <laughs> wow. Nice. Excellent. This is a rolled aluminum front cap. So that keeps you from getting little wobbles and, you know, doodahs in them and makes it a little bit more aerodynamic. Keeps from what? What? You know what I'm saying. Okay. You know what I'm talking Rock about. Rock chip guard. Don't forget yeah, that's that. that's right. Rock guard. You got that diamond plate. It's nice. Clip. Whoop. A little bit of front storage. Um, hey, we ain't telling you what you can put in here, but you could probably put whatever you want. We right? wouldn't do that. You can put whatever you want, just not your kids. And then it's also- No kids. Huh? No kids. Who no said kids. That? You don't want to put your kids in there. If you want to put your kids in there, you can. You can't, no. No, in, you, maybe Listen, it goes under the bed, so they'd have a place to uh, get out, you know? It's not like you're putting them outside or anything. No. Okay. Yeah, I tell you what. Think at, about that. So the Cherokees were the brown with the red stripe, but I feel like this is this is nautical. Well, you this know what it is? This nautical theme to me. It is back to blue. Mm -hmm. Folks, back we got it back to blue. Yeah, America, America. Back to blue. So you got a Furion solar charging port, as demonstrated by Todd. Again, wow. Wow, nice. Wow. Nice window. A power awning. This is a carefree Colorado awning. It's got adjustable arms. It also has little uh, doohickeys on it. It's got the shocks, man. So when the air hits it from the wind, yeah. Like that. My boy's finna get pumped up. Oh. <laughs> Friction hinge door. So you don't have to worry about when you open the door, the door flies, hits you in the face, messed up your money maker. Mm -mm. Ow. So basically when you open it up, it just stays open. Stays where you put so it. You know what I'm saying? They also put these uh, Morod steps. This is Cherokee's version of the Morod step. Why don't you show them What'd how you it works? What'd you call me? Huh? What? <laughs> show them how okay, it works, Todd. So, now, I'm just walking her along. Yeah. Very sturdy. Yeah, very, very sturdy. Very sturdy. But good for big, 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 big people. Big people. I'm yeah. not chubby. No, no one said that. I'm just husky. <laughs> so, ow. Whoa, no, you do Jack. Like this way. This is probably better. You always want to sweep them off. You want to clean them. But we don't have a broom out here. That's right. 
There you go. So see you're locked in place. Now you can drive down the road, you close your door, drop your handicap handle, and you're, you're rolling. What? It's not a handicap, it is a handle assist. Handle assist. There we go. We don't want to confuse folks out there. Look, nice. Yeah, Flush. very clean. So when you're beating through like the Walmart parking lot or you go into Kroger, which Kroger owes us money now for endorsing their label, we'll send you a bill. Um, you don't have to worry about bottoming your steps out or something cool like that, right? And they are adjustable too. You can adjust them. Yeah. They got pins, man. For different terrain. Listen, you wanna go you wanna go this way or this way? I think this is a better way, it's safer. Safety oh, first. Side. Safety first. Here I got it. Oh go ahead. Now I'm gonna go. There you go. We're in the 274 WK now. Cherokee. We've entered the interior. Very nice. So listen, this is a, a new floor plan. It's got two recliners. Thomas Payne, you see what I'm saying? Thomas Payne, no pain though, very nice. Yeah, very comfortable. It's like, hot, what you call it, thermopedic? That's yeah, what it's got did in you it. see the new material they have here? I call it dungaree, but you could call it denim if you want. What? But <laughs> what's nice about it, it is very, um, Kid friendly, people friendly. Yeah, you, you just got started. It over. You if turn you, over. If the kids are eating ketchup popsicles or something, you can turn it over and use the back side of the cushion. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's nice. It's, it's easy to take care stuff. of. Okay, so just imagine, you know, whoa, this is a firm mattress, man. Yeah, well, this is not know, bad. Hey, this is for people with, you know, probably back problems or something. Emergency exit. Emergency exit is vitally important. If for some reason or other you fall asleep while you're smoking your palm mall, <laughs> you can jump out the window. You can jump out of this bad boy. Right? So yep. listen, you got TV hookups back here. If you guys like to watch television, watch whatever you want. Ain't nobody's judging you. You can watch TV in your bedroom, like cops or something. And then you got this sweet little, um, you call it a, well, it's a headboard, but you can also. It's a headboard storage facility. Storage. Um, I have a phone charger over here. Do you have a phone charger? I got a phone charger. I also got a receptacle here. There you go. Because you're using that CPAP. Yep. <coughs> or white noise machine. Right. There, LED lights. That's right. Air conditioned vents. So the lights are controlled independently in here. So like if you're, if you're sitting here reading or something, people do that still, I think. You could be watching, you know, your book with your light. Or you can be answering a text. Someone just texted me. Oh, what a crap bag. So you could, you Listen, could check out your text, storage. check out your phone. So I always kind of, closets are undermined, like re, go really, you know, undermined in trailers. They do, but you know what's nice about it? Um, is loading this bad boy up, having your clothes already set, your own yeah. sheets, your own towels, and Friday afternoon just jumping in and everything's already packed. Yeah, I think I, a lot of the stuff that I think about, that's, that's my mentality on it. It's sure. Like, can you have everything that you need sitting in it? Another closet over here. Oh, man. That's right. Hey, let's go show them the Concord. We'll go to the Concord. Yeah. Sounds great. We'll meet you guys over at the Concord. All right, guys. I just got here backing this thing up. Sherman's excited. All right. Who wants to help me set up? Me. Come on, Sherman. Let's go. Come on, give me five. Give me five, Sherman. Give me five. Try to give me a five, you silly dog. Come on. Ah, All right, guys, let's go. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Go and grab him. All right, Bramus, watch your step. Watch your step, Jules. Ooh, s'mores. What else do we need? We need chocolate and marshmallows. All right, let's take them outside. What's your favorite one? Chocolate, graham crackers, marshmallows. Marshmallows. You can eat those every day, huh? Yeah. All 
All right, let's go. Who's ready for donuts? Me. High five. <laughs> Maybe we'll catch a fish with some donuts. What do you think, bud? Yeah. That's a good idea. They might like that. You want a sprinkle? Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I'll eat this one. He okay. doesn't have a sprinkle. Okay. Shh, don't tell mom we're eating donuts. Okay. Boy secret. Okay. She might notice that there's some missing though. There was a bear. I saw one earlier. <laughs> do you remember that one time we went camping that we that we saw a bear when we were with Cooney and them? Mm -hmm. That was a hot mess. He scared me to death. He threw that boulder down. I thought the bear was running out. I said, no, don't give me bear. And I looked, and it was Cunio's boulder. Not cool, man. And he was laughing so he was hard. La Everybody was laughing except for me, because I thought the bear was going to bite my butt. We got to make sure we put that away, too, bud. We got to make sure we put the machete away. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. Before Mom gets back. Yeah. Grab that. You want to grab Sherman? Come on, Sherman. All right, here we go. Mason Tractor Co. is your local Kubota dealer carrying top of the line equipment for agriculture, turf, and construction. When you arrive, our friendly and knowledgeable staff will work hard to ensure you get exactly what you need. On our lot, you'll find tractors, mowers, utility equipment, and attachments to tackle any project. Don't let finances stand in the way. We have low-rate, long-term financing options available. Visit a Mason Tractor Co. near you today. Thank you for calling High Priority Plumbing. This is Brittany, how can I help you? With over 20 years in the industry, High Priority Plumbing has certified technicians that can take care of any of your residential or commercial plumbing needs. General plumbing installation and repairs, leak detection and repair, water heater maintenance, repair and replacement, water and sewer line repair and replacement. At High Priority Plumbing, our customers are our priority. Give us a call today at 770-860 8110. A place for family. A place to relax and get away. A place to explore. And a place to remember. McDonough, Georgia. Conveniently located off of I-75 south of Atlanta. Come visit us and eat, shop, Play and stay. When your whole world is kids, you see them and care for them in ways that others can't. Children's Health Care of Atlanta. The only place for children since 1950. Looking for car insurance shouldn't be hard. Let Insurance Specialists of Georgia help make the process easy. By providing multiple insurance companies, we are able to find a plan that meets your budget and coverage needs. Our team is committed to providing excellent service while creating a personalized policy for personal and commercial companies. Give Insurance Specialists of Georgia a call today. be back. Guys, I have arrived in style today in a 2019 Berkshire XLT 45A. This is one of the latest additions to the, to the 
uh, diesel motor home line at Mid-State RV. I'm Tom Black, I've been with the company 20 years. We're excited about all the people that have been to visit with us through the years. We're excited about you. You may be ready to trade your RV or you may be ready to, to just buy your first one. This is a great place to start out. This is a perfect tailgating coach. It's a perfect coach to load up your family, your grandkids, it'll sleep 10 inside. It's got a drop down bunk, bunk beds, huge, huge storage, two full bathrooms. This is a 45A Berkshire XLT done at Mid-State RV in Byron. And guys, this coach has got a 450 Cummins engine, tons of power, uh, 1,450 pounds of torque. It's got a 3000 Allison transmission in it, six speed smooth. Uh, it's gonna get you where you wanna go in style and in comfort. As I think about the Berkshire XLT, I think about class. It's got a lot of class. It's got style, it's got the comfort. You're gonna feel like you're at home when you're gliding down the highways of America in this Berkshire XLT. Huge, huge storage underneath, pull-out storage trays, outside entertainment centers. It's got the Alco aluminum wheels all the way around. It's got the tag axle. This tag axle, the, the, the wheels have a special shock system that's on them that allows the, uh, the, the tag axle to actually turn instead of, uh, instead of scooting across and tearing your tires up like a lot of folks do. That's on the 45A. I also got the 45B model down, some differences in them. Uh, this is the one we're looking at today. Got the frameless windows, the full body paint on, on the outside. You'll notice the awnings, it has the drop down awnings on it, so you're gonna just create shade, even if the afternoon sun's coming down, you're gonna create some shade. It's got the extra slotting on here, so if you wanted to add an extra sunscreen that drops down, we'll be glad to do that for you down at Mid-State RV. Really, really stylish front end. It's got a lot of movement in it. You see coaches, it's got just a smooth, flat front end. They're noisy, they vibrate a lot. This one's got the curves in it, the molded, it's molded into the fiberglass cap, so it adds a lot of strength in, in here. This is an automotive bonded windshield. It has the three-quarter gasket that goes around. The windshield is glued in place, and so uh, you don't have wind noise and, and, and stress on this windshield the way that it's set up. Guys, it's time to hit the road again. We're loading up in this Berkshire XLT. We're heading down to Laurel Walker State Park down below Waycross, Georgia in the Okefenokee Swamp this weekend. We're gonna be having a great camping time there with our family and some friends. Big family reunion. My wife's uh, Steedley Sowell annual reunion's going on. This is a perfect coach to take to a place like that. You can sleep 10 people comfortably in addition to tons of floor space that you can just take and throw some sleeping bags in there for your grandkids. I'm excited about this XLT and I'm excited about Laura Walker State Park. Let's go camping. I think, guys, you can get all of your stuff in that refrigerator-freezer combo right here. Ice Maker has got everything you could ever want uh, right here in this motorhome. Guys, you ever been riding down the road and your cabinets come sliding open? You said, man, I wish they wouldn't do that. This coach has a special feature about it that all the cabinetry inside, you start to open and it will not open. They lock. You push the button right there, it releases it, and it locks. Also, when you crank this coach up, everything in here locks automatically. And so if you can still open it if you need to, but it's not going to just come open of its own accord. Corian uh, countertops inside, deep bowl stainless steel sinks, high rise residential faucets. It's got the fireplace inside, three air conditioners, the, the, the heat pumps on board, heated floors. You got the overhead bed right here. This is a real convenient drop down bed. Uh, you can still get in and out the door. It's going to drop down to about here. If you want to get out the door, you just kind of stoop down. Short people can go right underneath it. I kind of I go that way when I want to get out. You're going to lock this up at night and have a great time camping here with your family and friends. Big bed overhead sleeps too. The sleeper sofa sleeps too. The dinette sleeps too. And then you got a special feature in here where you've got bunk beds and uh, with these bunk beds there's also a, a, a clothes hanger bar up top where you can use this as a wardrobe. If you got people sleeping there you close the doors this way. If you want to use it as a wardrobe then you can open it all up and just tuck everything away in there nicely and you would never even really know that the bunk beds are there. Half our full a full bathroom right here. Come on back in the bedroom, guys. More lights, tons of lights. 
You got the king size bed back here, a little quiet time, nice ceiling fan, the windows on both sides of the bed so they open so you can get some cross ventilation, tons of storage in here. Drawer space underneath, all your electronics are tucked away in the cabinets. Overhead, you got more hang up storage here. It's got it all right here in this Berkshire XLT. Huge, huge bathroom in the back. Porcelain toilets, electronic flush toilets. You don't have to uh, worry about, uh, did I step on the thing too hard? No, just get in and go camping and have yourself a great, great time. Here we go. Big shower. I'm 6'4 and weigh several hundred pounds. <laughs> and I can get in here and I can shower and make my family real happy with doing that. Double sinks, you got the mom and pop sinks in here. Or in my case, I got a lot of girls in my family, so the girls are all gonna be back here and I'm still gonna be outside waiting my turn. Washer dryer right here. Guys, it's got it all. It's ready to go. It's waiting on you. Tom Black down at Mid-State RV, we want you to come in and see us real soon. We got a lot of RVs, over 350 RVs. We got everything that you could imagine down at Mid-State RV. A full line of gas motor homes, class C motor homes, class A motor homes, the diesel motor homes. I've got diesel starting at $150,000. I've got the Berkshire XLT that we're looking at today. It's a little more money, a lot more comfort than some of the coaches are gonna give you. We want to see you real soon down at Mid-State RV. We're excited about you and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. i tell you what, I remember when your grandfather, well actually that would be your great-grandfather, my, my grandfather. Ooh, look, armadillo hole. Cool. Cool. Hey, Cruz, be careful with the armadillos. I just saw one back here, okay? Hey, Cruz, me and brother are going to go down fish a little bit, and then uh, there's not a whole lot of space down there. I looked at it earlier. So just stay, stay close with the dog, all right, bud? In case you fell in the water. We're freezing. It is cold, that's for sure. I got my grip on today. Oh. Hey, look, there's a canoe over there. Mm hmm All right, Jules. I'm gonna sit right there. And I'm it's gonna... gonna be hard to cast. I know. Let me cast a few times and see if we can't make this happen. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can catch a whopper. Yeah. Watch out, Hopefully. Oh, oh, I lost one. Oh, man, he was big. I know it was in the bottom. I remember one time we went fishing with Grandpa. Yeah. With your great grandpa. Uh huh. And he said to stop casting where I was casting because there was no fish there. And I said, Grandpa, how do you know there's no fish there? And then he grabbed my pole. And he went just like this. I'm gonna show you where that. And he casted it. But he said the fish were. He said, whoa, I got one. Just like that. And I said, Grandpa, how'd you know they were there? He goes, well, you've casted the same spot 47 times, haven't caught a single one. I was gonna try somewhere else, you never know. So, let's see if we can catch one. Gotta cast in a different spot. Every time. Did you see that thing? That oh man! Oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go tell mom this story. This is crazy. Man. Hey, buddy, don't let the dog come down here. It's real steep. Call it a day. All right, we'll chalk that up to experience. Come on, grab the toolbox. I'm in the tackle box. Give me that, Bubba. Thanks, man. Well, maybe next time. We'll get a better line and we'll come back. We'll do it again. Okay. Come on, I'll let you lead the way. Got it? It's a worm. That's all right. We're okay. Cool. Got it? Mm-hmm. Here we go. <gasps> you got a thorn bush? Yep. Hot diggity dog. Watch out with that thorn bush. Oh Come on, Sherman. Come on, Sherman. Here we go. When your doctor prescribes an MRI, CT, ultrasound, or x-ray, you have a choice. 
At Allegiance Imaging and Radiology, you will have access to convenient online real-time scheduling, experience our friendly and knowledgeable staff, and receive diagnostic testing from our best-in-class technologists and radiologists, ensuring shorter testing times. With multiple locations that are open seven days a week, we are committed to creating a standard of care and patient experience second to none. Choose Allegiance Imaging and Radiology and let us prove our unprecedented commitment to you. Sixth Street Pier invites you to a relaxing and refreshing dining experience. The farm fresh ingredients and delicious handcrafted entrees will satisfy your taste buds. An incredible ambience to make and meet new friends. Daily, you will find all wines by the bottle half price and happy hour specials. If you're looking for the taste of Buckhead without the dry, here it is at Sixth Street Pier in Griffin, Georgia. Time to get your mobility back and Mobility Warehouse can help. Your Medicare insurance can now cover a large part of the purchase price of many of our most popular items. Wheelchairs, scooters, rollators and more. We have a large showroom so you can try before you buy. We deliver and service what we sell. Mobility is more affordable than ever. Come by and see us today at Mobility Warehouse in Stockbridge, Georgia, serving all of Metro Atlanta. Here at Drift Through Coffee, we believe that gourmet coffee can be served quickly without compromising quality. Our coffee is organically grown and purchased through fair trade, so the farmers receive a fair price product. Drift Through Coffee has a wide variety of beverages from coffee to tea lattes and espresso. So swing by Drift Through Coffee and start your day off the right way. State RV Center. This month's tech tip, uh, we're going to talk about holding tank maintenance. Now, um, of course, on your RV, first thing you need to understand is what kind of holding tanks do you have? Uh, you've got your fresh water, which is self-explanatory. Then you've got your gray and your black. Uh, black water is going to be water coming directly from the toilet um, and is going to go directly to your black tank to hold off sewage waste. Uh, gray water is going to be coming from all your shower sinks. Um, all those areas in your camper is going to be feeding to your gray tank. Uh, depending on how your camper is set up, uh, you can have multiple gray tanks or multiple black tanks if you have more than one restroom. But either way, whatever configuration, you kind of you want to use the same uh, procedures when you're doing uh, holding tank maintenance. Now, uh, one thing you want to be sure, uh, a lot of people get to a campsite, and I've heard this many times, uh, a customer comes in and says, hey, you know, I've got a, a clog in my tank. And uh, you start talking to them about what they've done, and. Uh, one definite no-no is when, when you pull up to a, a, a campsite, even though they have full hookups, you don't want to just sit there and open the black water valve because what's going to happen then is uh, you're going to have uh, liquids flowing straight through and you're going to create buildups in your tank. So you always want to be sure you leave your black water valve closed. Uh, you want to let the uh, tank fill up to at least two-thirds full. And then uh, once, uh, once your uh, black tank is full, then you can dump it. And once you dump the black tank, you want to follow that with the gray tank. And uh, once you dump your gray tank, this is going to flush through. It's going to kind of clean your lines and things like that out. Um, now, also, at that same time, you, you, it'd really be best if your gray tank was also two-thirds full, uh, just to be sure you're getting an appropriate amount of water in there. And so if you have to dump your, uh, your black tank and your gray is not completely full, just run some water in the sink, you know, get, get a little more accumulation in there. Uh, once you've dumped your tank, your black tank, it's really best if you can flush it out. Um, a lot of units nowadays are equipped with a built-in flush. Uh, if not, uh, they make uh, different sanitation sticks, swivel sticks that you can run through the commode. Uh, you could check with our service department. We could uh, see about installing some type of flush in for you. But you want to flush that tank out and be sure that uh, you're getting it as clean as possible and let that run through before you close it back up. Um, immediately following dumping your black tank, uh, you want to be sure that you add some chemical to the tank, run some water in there, add some chemicals. And I'll, I'll be honest, this time of year when it's so hot outside, add a little extra chemical in there. It'll really help to keep odors down and just make for a, a you know, just a, a, a lot better camping experience overall. Uh, that being said, also your gray tank, you want to treat it periodically. Uh, just things going down your sink, uh, grease, um, 
residues from, from cleaning and things like that over a period of time, these things can build up in your tanks and cause odors as well. So periodically you want to be sure that you uh, add some type of treatment to your gray tank just to keep those odors down. Um, something else, uh, you can, uh, over over a period of time, as things build up in tanks, uh, you'll get residues, things like that on the probes in the tank. And these can cause false readings, causing your tank to show that it's you know, two thirds, uh, three quarters full uh, when, when actually it's not. Uh, they make special chemicals for, uh, for cleaning those probes in your tank. Come see us about that. We can show you what to get. Um, another trick is uh, people would take it, uh, put some water in the tank, throw your bag of ice in there and uh, you know, drive around, let that rattle loose and get that stuff uh, cleaned up. But, you just, any way we can help, you give us a call. Uh, that's what we're here for, give you advice, um, help you find the right products to treat your camper. And uh, we just want to do what we can to be sure you guys get out there and have the best experience while you're camping. Hey folks, welcome to Mid-State RV Center. I'm Sid Griffin, one of the product specialists here. want to take the time to show you our Cardinal line of luxury fifth wheels. Today we're going to be looking at the 3950. It is a rear living fifth wheel with the step up, which is going to allow you more storage underneath the rear living. In the back, we'll get to that in just a moment. But I want to start you out with the best part of this unit right here. This unit listed 105,717, as you can see, we've got it listed now at 72,967 plus tax. Folks, with 20% down to 240 months, you can get this unit for around $506 a month. Let's go over some of the fine details of this unit. You've noticed you've got the frameless windows here, dark tint is gonna keep that sunlight out, keep your air conditioners from working so hard on the inside. When you talk storage, you've got storage galore on the outside of this unit. You've got magnetic siding here, so you don't have to worry about it falling up on you. You've got a gel coat finish. No worries about delamination on a gel coat finish. You've got your solid steps here, which is perfect when you get ready to go. You just take these steps, Fold them up. Close the door. And you're on your way. All cardinals are key to light. So you only have one key for this whole unit. You don't have to worry about a bunch of keys falling all over the place, losing a bunch of keys. Notice we're going to come on down and talk about this extra storage that I was telling you about. You've got three sets of storage underneath this. All three comp 
compartmentalized. So if you want to take separate things, keep it all separate. You've got your receiver hitch back here where you can put a bike rack. You can put, you know, the rack, you can use bike racks, coolers, whichever you may like. With today's campgrounds, your 50 amp cord is right on the back. It makes it a lot easier to plug in where you're going. Well, hey folks, here we are on the inside. We're gonna start out with the brains of the fifth wheel here on the panel here to show you how to do all the slides, all the lights, everything that you need to work the inside of this fifth wheel, including the TV in the rear. We'll come over here. Once it comes up, you can control your awning. If you've got a generator in here, you can control your generator, your automatic leveling, your lighting, your monitor, which includes your gray tank, your black tank, and your fresh water tank, all your slides, and your TV lift. We're gonna come on up to the bedroom, and we're gonna look at all the features up here. When you First off, you check, make sure you got everything like you like up here. Since this is a luxury fifth wheel, and more than likely you're gonna be using this full-time extended stays, look at all the stores that you have in here in this one closet itself. You've got one, two, three, four pull-out drawers. You've got shelves in your closet for whatever knickknacks that you may have to store in your closet. Look down below, you've got extra drawers down below in this little dresser space here. You've got a 72 by 80 king size bed. Knows all your nice throw pillows. Comes decorated already for you. Extended stays. You've got a residential size shower. Ladies, if you need to shave legs, you can sit down while you're shaving your legs. Oversized sink for a fifth wheel. Once again, plenty of storage for your towels, wash rags, all your toiletries. Porcelain toilet, no plastic here. We're gonna come down into the kitchen. Notice you've got two good pantries here. This is your hay and coat closet if you need it. Come over here. If you like to drink wine, you've got a place for wine glasses or just anything for knickknack storage here. Plenty of overhead storage cabinet space. Notice all throughout the coach is LED lighting. You've got nice crown molding throughout. Come over here to a 23 cubic foot LG refrigerator indoor ice maker with a deep freeze in the bottom. Come over here you've got your gourmet three burner gas stove. Larger oven than most standard fifth wheels or travel trailers. You've got a residential size microwave slash convection. Rarely do you find a fifth wheel with an oven slash convection as well. Notice the solid surface countertops. And as you see on our top here, get a cordless Dyson vacuum cleaner. Folks, if you happen to have guests that come over, even this is a couple's coach, you have two love seats on each side that will make out into memory foam beds, so you can sleep an additional four people up here if you like. You've got your recliners for all the comforts at home, your stadium seat loving love seats. If you want to cuddle up to your loved one, you want to get rid of this console, this console pulls right out and you can snuggle up with your favorite person. You've got your fireplace and once again, just massive, massive amounts of storage. Folks, I'm Sid Griffin here at Mid-State RV Center. We've really enjoyed showing you our luxury line of fifth wheels, the 3950 Cardinal. Please come see us and we hope to see you soon. Okay, hey, what do we got here? Today, we're gonna demonstrate how we to make a fire. fire. We got fire, guys. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna let us do this. Okay. So listen, 
Up until today, Todd's been making fire with two sticks and pure rage. But now, we're gonna use LP gas in this ridiculously sweet little, like portable fire pot thing. That Look is that. awesome. That's actual lava rock from Hawaii and stuff. All right, so you ready? So turn on the gas, Todd. Okay, ready? All right, get ready. Okay, the gas is on. So, it's probably gonna be pretty simple, but if it's not, we'll figure yeah. it out. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. that is oh, nice. God. Wow. I feel the heat. Dude, this is actually kind of nice. <laughs> it's frosty breezy today, sort of. I mean, not cold, but it's It's going to be in the cold. 70s in two days from now, but today so it's 50. I don't think even, like, you look at these campgrounds and they've got these, what is that? A hub? I think it's a fire pit. It looks a like fire it came pit off of a hub? tire, like a tire came off of it. Very, it doesn't I mean, look sand, it doesn't look clean. My thing Sanitary. with it, nothing against it, but I mean, there's gonna be a lot of smoke, and you're gonna be burning garbage and trash. Yeah, your kids are gonna be wanting to play with it. They're gonna be running up on it. So with this fall thing here, in this, uh, this, they can fall in that. Yeah, good. This is very safe. You hook up the LP bottle. I mean, it's literally like you know you can pick it up and move it around, but it's easy to set up, and you you don't have to go out and pick up a bunch of wood and stuff like that. But the biggest thing for me personally that makes it kind of cool. This is LP gas, so it's really clean burning. Yeah. So if you nice. guys want to sit around it, you don't have to do the old, what do they say, smoke follows beauty? There is, you don't have to worry about all that junk anymore. It's, well, it's a cool thing. It is, but also, you got some nice chairs over here too, man. I know. Check this out. I could sit right here. Let me see. Oh, man, I'm getting some good heat off of this. And you know, we carry these chairs at our Midstay RV store, which is right across the street from our sales department. That's right. What's the square footage of the store? 7,000 square foot. 7,000 square foot. That's almost, that's bigger than Walmart. Well, we're not Walmart. We have all of your camping needs, and that's what um, our owners designed the store for, to make sure that um, we don't want to be a Walmart. We want to have things that only pertain to you and your family and your camping needs. Yeah, so it, we built, uh, Lee and Tina built the store in an effort to try to cover our customers' needs at 360 degrees. We wanted to be able to sell you the camper, service the camper, wash the camper, do any type of body work on the camper, which is why we built our body shop. That's right. And we were kind of not really lacking in the parts, but we didn't have enough facility. And so now we have more than enough facility. One stop shop, folks. You know, we want to make sure that, you know, we are the camping What's camp professionals and experts. And experts. We're experts. The camping experts. And we want to make sure that, you know, we have what our customers need. Which includes these, these chairs are, I mean, I'm not going to leave now. I don't think I am either. So, um, you guys enjoy the rest of the show. We're just going to hang out here. Stay warm. Bye. See y'all later. Hey guys, I'm Keith Kittle with Midstate RV Center in Byron, Georgia. I got a great, great unit I want to show you. It's half ton towable. You can pull it with a half ton truck. It is a toy hauler, okay? You got nice features here. You can put a golf cart inside if you want to. No problem at all. All right, this also has the electric jacks on it. You mash a button, jacks go up and down, okay? It's a Puma. You got your LED lights with outside speakers. A new feature that's came out with is these new steps. Big as I am, they sturdy. All you do is flip them up, they hide the way. Flip them down, and again, sturdy steps. You got friction doors, so they start anywhere. They don't slam, they don't go through. Again, half ton towable. You can pull it with a half ton truck, no problem at all. But this is a Puma 351THSS. Okay, let's go inside and look inside. 
This unit, like I said, is a 35 foot half ton towable. It's got a super slide. Sofa and the dinette table slides out. You got a nice area here. You got a stove. You got the huge residential refrigerator. Okay, again, you got a door going to your area, your toy hall area, so you can close it off. Of course, nice bathroom with a glass shower. Again, this is the dinette area, and it's also a sleeping area, so it's kind of both. All you do is just, like I said, raise the table up, and it drops down. Sofa, you got a nice sofa area, reclines, you sit here, you watch TV. Okay, this is also what they call a jackknife sofa. You lift it up, and it's another bed. Okay, nice TV with the Bluetooth radio speakers. You do have the walk around bed in here that you can go up walk around. This is also set up for your cellular phone for charging. You can come on in and we'll look at it. You got both. You got charges on both sides of the bed. You got storage underneath your bed for extra blankets, extra area you need for storage. This is the toy hauler part. This is where you put your golf cart or your motorcycles or whatever you want to put back here, okay? But you could use it for a second bedroom. You got a place for the second TV right here, okay? So you can put another TV back here. It could be a bedroom if you want to. You got sitting and sleeping area right above. This unit does have two ACs. You got two air conditioners, okay? It's very affordable. You're talking about less than $40,000 for a toy hauler with two ACs, fully equipped. Like I said, you can put tie downs back here. You got you know, a ladder you can put on top for you to get it up top. Um, plenty of storage. This also has what they call a cross ventilation. That's what this is right here. You open this up, you got a vent over there on that side. It pulls the gas fumes out of the unit, okay? Come see me. I'm Keith Kittle with Mid-State RV Center in Byron, Georgia. That's mom. Open that. Ow. Ow. Don't bite my finger. All right, Cece. Here's yours, boo. Okay. I had your golden brown. I had your golden brown. That's okay. I'll eat it. Look how golden brown that side is. I love it. Bring it. I need to make uh, you mine. one, Daddy. That could be mine. No, it's mine. No, this one's Luna. Oh, that's Luna's. Here, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Get, hold that for Mama. Hey, more shot, Bubba. Chill, Abram. chill, chill, chill. It's okay. it's okay. Relax, relax. Here, use a stick. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Abram would be. Look at that. All right, I need a chocolate, babe. Mm. Is that Daddy, delicious, Abram? One? I want one. Uh, Mama, chocolate. Oh, Daddy, you want one? Mama. Sure. Mama. This one's yours. Actually, this one's Looney's. I want this one. This you want one? this one instead? No! That's okay. I'm going to have this one. Good, Luna? Mm. Mm. Delicious. Again, one side golden brown, father. Is that for me? Woo! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! You burnt me. You burnt me, bud. <laughs> Be careful. Thanks, babe. Want some? I'm not gonna scare you, bud. Uh oh, we're almost out of s'mores. Jules, did you get your s'mores? It's a mess, it's okay. You want to close up with this? Daddy, I was making this for you. Can't wait till we go camping again. Me too, babe. We've had so much fun. It's been a great trip. Where should we go next? Hmm, then we can go to High Falls. Hmm. What do you think, Lena? Yeah. Cruise High Falls sound good, bud? Yeah, that sounds good. Great. Maybe next time we go, you can fish next time. Okay. Come on, Sherman. <laughs>
more of whatever you love to do. Regular body care from Massage Envy can help you feel your best, so you can do more of the things that make you, you. Massage Envy, making the best of everybody. See how we can help you at MassageEnvy.com. At Resurgence Orthopedics, we are dedicated to getting you moving again. With the most specialized physicians offering comprehensive and compassionate care, Resurgence Orthopedics can help you do more. We are Georgia's largest and most trusted orthopedic team. And with four convenient Southside locations, more is right in your backyard. You can now schedule your appointment online. Resurgence Orthopedics, reach for more. 1010 Computers is your one-stop resolution for all your computer repair and IT needs. We offer an array of services in our local repair center as well as on-site support at your home or small business. We also carry new and certified refurbished Apple and PC desktop and laptop computers. At 1010 Computers, your customer experience is our primary focus. All my issues have been resolved quickly and thoroughly. Call us today at 404 585-6253 Fast and affordable repairs for all Hey, we're back again guys. I'm Todd and this is I'm Brent Stone. All right, all right. So here we are at the 2019 Concord. That's this right. is a 300 TS. That stands for triple slide. Buddy. That's right, triple slide. Good catch on that yeah. one. V10 gas engine. Also, the Concorde is this considered a B plus? You don't have the hanging over like the normal class C's. That's right, a lower radius gap. That's right. Um, you also have the slide toppers up on the slides on this side. Yeah, from the factory. From, from the, the factory. factory. You have you have right signal, left signal, but with the signals you have cameras, so you can see where you're turning and who you're turning into, or if you're turning into anybody. Very right. safe. V10 gas engine already went over that. Yep. Nice big mirrors. Take them down the door side. I'm gonna open the awning, Todd. This side, you got a big awning over here. Also, you got your outside TV. Boom. Is that a Furion sound bar? Furion. Furion is marine grade, so they're they are made to juggle, jassle, jump around. Um, wow. Yeah, they are also they're okay to be 140 degrees. It's not 140 today. It's a little warm, but it's a beautiful day. We love it. It is 140. Sound bar. Um, Bluetooth, and also you have the outside speakers, which is right here. This is your sound bar. Better, better sound system, better quality, so you're gonna enjoy that. Let's show them inside. Come on. Here we go. All right, we're inside. Wow, the air's on. It's cooling down. This is nice. Hey, you don't have to wear your shades in here, cool dude. Look how light this wood interior is. I see now because... They went a lot lighter for this 2019. They did. You want to shut the door there? Keep, you know, we're not air conditioning the whole what, neighborhood. What, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guy. It's okay, man. All right, so hey, we're inside. So triple slide, three slides, one in the dinette, one in the... Uh, Ca uh, couch and yeah, kitchen. Yeah, the couch and the kitchen, that's right and then one in the bedroom back there. You know, sometimes you just feel like, you know, I don't really feel like carpet today. You know, you ever just feel like, I don't want carpet today? Where are you going with this? Well, I'm gonna show you where I'm going with this. Coachman is so smart, they already went there for us. That's right. This carpet is removable. So it's fully tiled front to back. Um, yes. As well as the, um, the... The cockpit. That it's okay. Too. It's yeah. okay. I got them. They're all right here. They get right there. It's, it's okay. Color. It's called age. So it happens. This thing up here has got the carpet in it. Yep. And then underneath, it's just a rubber floor. So and these spin around. This is nice. That's right. Yep. Okay. So, so you this can is... open the two the two chairs into. You can. You can sit. How many people can you sit in here? All right. That makes into Four. a bed, right? You go five, six, right here. Yeah. That makes into a bed. Yeah. Bifold. Ah, ah, ah. Very easy. It it's easy. easy. It's easy. I'm just being funny. <laughs> Seat belts. Safety right. first. Safety first. Safety first. Okay. So you can take out the carpet if you want to. I keep going on that. That's just such a nice deal. You the man, Stan. No, you go ahead. Tell me. All what, right, listen. I'm gonna take important. you guys through the kitchen, okay? 
So listen, a lot of motorhomes now, they're starting to move into convection microwaves instead of the old gas ovens. I think it's a good idea. I think most gas ovens end up being used as storage for the most part. Or so, silent killers. Yeah, Just say that if you got a gas leak or something. Oxide. You don't need yeah, that. You don't right. need that in your life. So, so they got the uh, convection microwave. They also have a new Fury on top. I talk on this every time I look at it because I think it's way nicer than the old ones. It is nice. And then you got solid surfaces. Is that Corian? That's Corian, ain't it? Well, it's heavy, but you know what? It's solid. That's solid. what you want, folks. That's right. That is a farm sink stainless steel. Yeah. But I need more power outlets. You got two there. I've got, I've got right there in the corner. And you plug your phones in. That's right. Don't drop your phones when they're plugged in inside the water. Don't yeah. have any water in here. That's yeah, dangerous. Warning. We're doing a big warning label. Warning, warning, warning. Okay. Also, you're talking about gas. This has a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. So That's you don't right. need to run your heat. If you want to run your heat, you don't need to run your gas. Moderate cold weather. Yes. Is it like 40 and above? 40 and above. You don't want to go camping if it's below 40 anyways, yeah, not really. No can't really that. do much outside, so. Come on, let's go. It's got a it's got a split bath. I bet you can't fit in that shower. Oh, I'm gonna try that. I think I can. I'm 5'11. Let's see here. So on wow. a class C to have a split bath like awesome. this is really is is kind of the biggest arrangement you could have. Inside. What is this? Huh? Water saving system, folks. That's Brand right. new for us. It's the Aqua View. That's right, Aqua Velva, man. No, Aqua View. And it's the tank capacity up to 40% without changing tank or adding weight. Very nice. Super cool. Now, what is that? It's the water saving system. I just went over it. Okay. Okay. I mean, what, what would you think? That, what, tell me what you're. I mean, I, I see a purple thing. Oh. So I oh. think maybe this is part of it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I could... Um, we need to Google this. We're going to Google this. We'll get back to you guys. We'll get back with you on that. Shower miser. That's what it is. That's what we were talking well, about. Well, it's good. At, you know what it does, too? Look, I don't know if it's good, but I know it's got a bunch of money symbols on it. So well, I'm assuming this is going to save you something. It gives something. you enough pressure coming out, but also it lowers the pressure by saving you water. And saving you money. Saving you money. Yeah. A lot of money. It's more saving you a lot of money. All right, where's the toilet at? The toilet's in its own little room. Woo, that's nice. Y'all gotta appreciate that. <laughs> Where are the daggum heat vents? Where's the heat vents? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel it when I hit my the foot on it. The heat vents are in the walls, Tom. Nice, very nice. You know why? Because you get up in the night, you gotta use the bathroom or something. The worst thing, you're not wearing shoes in here when you're at, in here resting, yeah. so you get up. You don't want to stuff your toe on one of those. Oh, let me tell you something, man. Heat vents. You get a cut on that. You end up in the emergency lose, room. You'll lose a leg. That well, thing will take it'll give you a very bad off. cut. Yeah. And like um, also collects a lot of dirt too. Dirt, garbage, Cheerios, ants, dog hair. Gross. Okay, you know yeah. What I'm hey, things you be looking for. Great closets. One great on each closet. side. That's right. Now you want to tell them about the rugs? You, you, you were just talking about rugs. You can pull these rugs up. Yeah. So nice. you're all carpeted. And folks, that's it for another edition of the RV Show. Hopefully you enjoyed our first annual one-hour show. Folks, come see us, be a part of our family, get some great deals on an RV, and we'll see you soon.